today's video you'll see full creative process from sketch to finished illustration. I'll show you must know Adobe Illustrator tracing and coloring methods that you'll be able to use even if you're a beginner. You'll learn a lot about the pen tool, pathfinder, compound path, clipping mask and many other features. You can also download my sketch and color palette and try everything that I'll teach you today. By the end of this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you'll know time-saving techniques that will allow you to easily create detailed illustrations. You're watching TNT Tutorials? Let's move on! Everything usually starts with basic measurements. As more you practice and draw sketches, as less measurements you need to make. If you struggle with drawing poses, you simply need to draw quick sketches from references that you can find anywhere in the Internet. You can even draw basic human proportions from your friends' photos. Keep sketches simple. Start from something basic like you can see here. There's no need to make clean sketches. Your task is to simply build proportions. I personally practice both – traditional and digital drawing. And this is absolutely different things. The only thing that stays the same and even grows every time is your experience and visual understanding. I love to bring some things from traditional to digital drawing and opposite. Here, for example, I keep workflow simple just as if I would use pencil and eraser. This is why you can draw sketches with a single pencil in the way that you can see here. Draw something basic, find shapes, experiment, then erase and make drawing cleaner. Just don't put pressure on the pencil to be able to easily erase it. I wonder if you'd like me to teach you to draw. Maybe there's something special that you're struggling with. To me personally, it was eyes and hands for the first time. I mean, lips, ears and all other body parts also need a lot of practice. But that's just my own top. Eyes and hands. So, what is yours? I already know all shapes that I'm going to use, so this is a matter of focus and a little patience now. I make sketch cleaner and draw details. Now, as we have this clean sketch, we can bring it to Adobe Illustrator and do some magic. You can download sketch and color swatches by the link in the video description, open swatches, click on this little menu, select open swatch library, other library and find path to downloaded swatches. Click on these color folders one by one and they will appear in your swatches panel. Then simply close this window, after this click on file, place and find path to download its sketch. Rename this layer accordingly. Decrease opacity and lock this layer. Create a new layer for reference and place reference here. Lock reference also. After this, create one more layer and rename it to first. Today we'll use overlapping method for tracing. That means that all lines that you're creating must overlap like this. They can overlap a bit, this is just an example. I strongly don't recommend you to skip, because I'll share crucial tips during the workflow and today's method won't work without them. Here's another overlapping that we'll use today, let's call it tail. We create lines starting from another path and then return to the starting and to the final points to add tails. They will guarantee overlapping. Take a look at this line, it just flows along the drawing. With this method we don't need to close shapes, we only need to create lines according to sketch. Watch here, this is the tails that I told you about. Pick the point and add a small tail here using the pen tool.
Here I simply create line again and follow the drawing. Then hold Ctrl or Command, click somewhere to stop drawing line and continue with another one. Here it's easier to trace full skateboard. Then press C for scissors tool and cut lines where you want. Then press V for selection tool, pick cutted lines and delete them. Sometimes we can use simple shapes. Press L for ellipse tool and adjust it like this. Scissors tool again. Press A for direct selection tool and drag these dots to round corners. Here's how it works. Pay attention that sometimes you need to put some shapes to a different layer. These ones, for example, are in layer number 2. Let's return to the first layer and make the second layer invisible for now. You should have this result. We won't touch second layer for now. Press Ctrl plus A to select all lines in the first layer. Then click on Properties, Pathfinder, More Options and select Outline. You'll need to adjust Stroke Color and Stroke Width again. Then ungroup all lines. You can right-click on them and select ungroup. It's time to delete unneeded lines. To do this, you can press Q for the lasso tool, select points just as you can see here, and then press delete button twice.
You can also select cutted lines with the selection tool. Hold Shift and select as many points or lines as you want. This works for both the Selection tool and the Lasso tool. You should have this clean result. No unneeded lines and all looks ready for coloring. Make second layer invisible. Create a rectangle in the first layer. Send it to back by pressing Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus left brackets. Make sure that this rectangle has a stroke. Select all shapes in this layer by pressing Ctrl or Command plus A. Then click on Properties, Pathfinder and select Divide. Then deselect everything. Select and ungroup this selection. Delete this surrounding area first. We don't need it at all. Now change stroke width and delete other needed areas. After this, simply apply colors. It's time to work with the second layer. Change opacity here to something like 80%. Then press Ctrl or Command plus C. Ctrl or Command plus F to make a copy. Apply radial gradient with white color for both markers. Change opacity for this one to 0%. Then click on Properties, decrease opacity and change blending mode to hard light. Create ellipse with white color, change opacity to 40% and change blending mode to screen. Let's create background and press Ctrl or Command plus 2 to lock it. Here's three ways to add shadows and any details. First one. Simply draw something, then select object below, make a copy, but this time press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus V instead of Ctrl or Command plus F. This combination will place copy on top. Select Drawing and Copy, right click, make clipping mask. Use the Direct Selection tool, hotkey is A, to change shape in Clipping Mask. You can also double-click to enter Isolation Mode and add more shapes here. Double-click to exit. Second method, select all skateboard shapes. You can press Ctrl or Command plus 3 to check if you picked all needed parts. Make a copy. Right-click and select Make Compound Path. Then draw anything that you want. Bring Compound Path to the top. You can press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus right brackets for this and then create Clipping Mask. Third method. In case when you want to draw long shadow but have different colors in different areas, you should apply Clipping Mask here first. Then copy this shadow. Paste it and apply Clipping Mask on a different layer. Now you can apply different colors for a shadow. Now we'll use these three methods for all objects. Sometimes you will need simple Clipping Mask and sometimes you will need to apply Compound Path before that. Let's select all these layers, copy them, make Compound Path and add shadow using Clipping Mask. Just as I showed you before, but this time we'll simply use more objects for compound path. I'll also change blending mode to multiply and decrease opacity. For hair, we'll need to create a line with dark color, then go to Properties, Stroke and change Profile to Width Profile 1. Then duplicate this line and apply bright color. We'll duplicate these lines, change Width 
and change their flowing using the Direct Selection tool. Just apply Clipping Mask here, then Enter Clipping Mask, Edit Lines, Exit Clipping Mask to see results better, and continue. Nothing hard, just try different combinations, add more lines, delete some of them, move them here and there, and have fun! If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe, and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.